Well, uh, what are you studying? Archaeology. What else? Political science. Political science? Okay. Sociology. What is that? International, International relations. relations. My favorite subject. Environmental science. Environmental science. Math. Math. <laughs> Not my favorite subject. <laughs> Education. Education. Art. Art. And why are you in Egypt? Why are you here? <laughs> what? Oh, the civilization, you mean? <laughs> 7,000 years ago? Uh, well, yeah. Other reasons? Um, our class is here to study social movements and the rest of democracy. Okay, okay, very good. <coughs> social movements. So this is an official class? Yes, it's a travel course. Okay. It's offered through Western State University mm -hmm. and Northern Colorado. They both offer like three credits and uh, three to six credits. Okay. Sociology, uh, both of them are sociology. Uh -huh. Okay, very interesting. And I want to ask you another question before you ask me all the questions. Let me take the time to ask you all the questions. You know, we've been hearing um, in the news, in the media, a lot of things about Egypt not being safe, violence in the street, um, chaos, uh, no security, and you decided to come. I want to tell you that you are brave Okay, this is great. Thank you so much for, for visiting Egypt. Uh, I have to commend you for that. Um, did you have any concerns before coming? A lot. Huh? Huh? About security? Safety? Yes? I really didn't myself because I have a friend who owns a travel business in Colorado Springs and the Egyptian government bought her and a lot of those business owners, travel business owners over here last fall. And so when I talked to her, she said, George, there's really no problem at all. Mm. And she enjoyed herself. And so um, so I had no problems in coming here and bringing students and so forth. Okay. Well, usually um, it is no problem as long as you're away from Tahrir Square where all the events they are taking place. They will visit Tahrir Square soon. Okay, we'll <laughs> visit Tahrir, but don't go on a Friday. <laughs> yes. That's we know the this. season for Tahrir. Of course, yeah, it's, we, fun. We know this. <laughs> it's fun to visit Tahrir on a Friday, but it's not uh, safe. I, I myself don't go to Tahrir uh, on Fridays. But um, yeah, um, well, being concerned is, is something, but what is actually happening in the place uh, in Egypt, um, I think the media exaggerates um, sometimes. Um, well, I prepared some remarks to share with you. Um, I'm sure you're here to know what's going on in Egypt. You know about the revolution, the latest development. Uh, you've been hearing things in the news. One of my, my um, interests as well is U.S.-Egypt relations before and after the revolution. We can talk about that. Um, I'm interested in, in, in the role of women also um, before and after the revolution. Um, we can talk about all um, these things. Um, and then um, we can... Um, have a dialogue where you can ask um, questions or make comments or remarks or raise issues or concerns. How about that? Is it good? All right, let's start. Okay. Just Preparation was uh -huh. very central to our interest, so thank you. Okay. And so I'm going to start with Kevin uh, 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 with, with that first question. Thank okay. You. Kevin, you have a question for me? I do. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a, well, it might not be easy to answer as far as what's going on, but I think it'll be right on par with what you talked about. So do you, we're curious about how people's ideas about how they can play a role in their own governance has changed since the revolution. I mean, do people feel like they uh, are allowed to or they have more of a duty to be more involved with government or is it something that uh, is happening continually? Is, mm -hmm. Has there been a drastic shift? I mean, what are your, your okay, thoughts people, on that? people, that's a very good question because Right after the revolution, as early as February 11th, everybody has a big smile on their face and tears in their eye. For the first time, I'm free. Okay, that was my feeling. Okay, coming up, uh, coming out in the street on on Saturday. I still remember the day, Saturday, February um, 11th. Everyone has a big smile. Hope in the future of Egypt. The claim was today in Balad Baladna. It's our country now, because before it was Baladhum. Okay, it's their country. Okay, they are um, the ruling elite. They can do whatever, and we are all of us. We were marginalized. We were on the side, but starting that day, we had this feeling. We were optimistic that it's our country now, and we had the right 
to help participate in making it better. You see people uh, taking their brooms and, and, um, and um, dustbins and, and cleaning the streets. Organize the traffic. There is this sense of ownership. Yeah, we heard about that. Okay? Yeah, this sense of ownership that this is our country and we have to do something to make it better. But as days uh, went along and depression after depression, problem after problem, some people are um, kind of depressed, okay? Um, a lot of people um, are, are, are on the verge of, of giving up or losing hope in democracy. For them, democracy brought nothing but loss of jobs, okay? Lack of security, that they cannot um, go out in the street after a certain point. And we, were, we used to brag about how Egypt was, was secure. That you can go out anytime, even 3 a.m. in the morning. Um, so, with democracy comes chaos, um, losing jobs, price increase, okay, uncertainty. Um, so, for some people, the picture is very gloomy, okay, and the media is adding to that. So, so do you think that that has now given people the idea that they? can't play a role in government? Or? Well, um, some people with it, I, some people went back to their normal life, doing business. They're, no, they're, a concern, they're not concerned about politics at all. They're not concerned about the Constitution, whatever. They're not concerned about elections. Um, just they're concerned about their daily life, you know, the price of gas, the price of food, okay? Um, this is their daily concern, and they have the right to be concerned about this. And I, I actually blame the political elite for not addressing those concerns. Okay, we're leaving the people alone to struggle. Okay, with the price increase, with finding gas, with the problem of electricity. So they have problems on a, on a daily basis. But we have a very important factor, which is the young people. Okay, the youth. Okay, especially the polit politicized youth who are still determined on changing this country and who will not give up. That's why you, even if people are not engaged in the formal politics, like political parties, because political parties are dominated by the old paradigm, the old elite still are dominant. I receive complaint from some political parties. You know what, Dr. Rehan, uh, the young people, the young members of the uh, um, the party, they stormed inside the headquarters. Like, my question was, did you include them? Are they included in decision making? No. Like, okay. You got your answer. That's why they stormed inside the building. Okay?